Hello everyone, 99 Murfman here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Daylight Sensor. And it's introduced in the pre-release um, for Minecraft 1.5. There are many other things in that release, including a block of redstone, which I will use in this tutorial using the Daylight Sensor. Um, but this is just going to be for the Daylight Sensor. So, uh, let's get started. So, Daylight Sensor pretty much... It emits a redstone signal during the day. So depending on how much sun is in the sky, depends on how much redstone it will put out. So at noon, I have too many items on right now, um, it will go all the way, closing the door, it'll go all 14 blocks. But as the sun goes down in the day, I'll set it to sunrise. As you can see, it only goes so far. And then as the sun gets brighter, it will grow and grow and grow and grow. So this is a pretty cool thing, which will help with a lot of things. So, I have put some things together to show you some things it can do. So, that's the block of redstone. Um, and it looks a little different. That's a texture pack I have on. But, um... So here's the daylight sensor with a piston below it and a block of redstone on the piston. So, at noon, when it's the brightest, the daylight sensor will emit a redstone signal to the piston below it, pushing out the block of redstone. Then, when it gets dark, it will pull it in, and the block of redstone, if you don't already know, the block of redstone works like a redstone torch, and it makes a signal to the door, closing the door. So this is a little thing, say this is your base, at night you want the door to close, well then all you gotta do is this, and in the daytime, it opens up. So if you've seen Captain Sparkle's video of the pre-release, he shows a little lamp idea. So um, I put that in my video too to show you guys how to do it, so it's a pretty cool invention. So the daylight sensor up top, when there's a lot of daylight in the sky, the piston will push, pushing the block of redstone down, and then when it gets nighttime, it pulls it up and puts the light on. So this is a pretty cool lamp idea to turn some lights on at night. Don't waste your energy and leave them on during the day. This is a pretty cool thing, and uh, I can see how the daylight sensors will be very helpful throughout 1.5. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, comment, and please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching. Bring the action.